Now, talk about the actual creative architecture. Like, is, is carpet bombing still the thing to do? Are people still really um, throwing out like a, t a ton of video content and then you know, measuring 75% of the people who watch that or 75% mm -hmm. of the time and, 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 and going in that way? Like, what's the actual way that you find in terms of ad formats that work best right. for e-commerce products? So carpet bombing is a good example of like a way to kind of not hack the system, but a way to explain the system very well to people. Because if you go and you target people that watch 75% of the video, that's already a warm audience. So you're kind of doing a brand awareness type thing by doing that. Even with these viral videos that I just talked about, like we're doing that. Funnel. Exactly. Um, even with the viral videos I just talked about, we're doing that as a, in essence to create audiences that we can target of video viewers. Now, the creative side of it, of course, is changes from business to business to business. But the main aspect of it is to create a story behind the product. So we can take the hat again for an, an example. You can have a, uh, an image of the hat, right? Or you can have a video of the hat where the video shows people wearing it. It shows zoom ins, zoom outs, high quality definition images. You know, the copy isn't essentially, uh, do you love this cool hat? Make sure to get it now, 30% off. Use discount hat now in checkout. Cool, some people will like the hat and want to buy it for 10 bucks and get 30% off, buy it for $7. Or if we had a longer form copy with some humor, com comedy, pain points in it with a dope ass video. Like for example, it's called like iStack Training, right? So let's say iStack Training was a type of, uh, of, of a brand that is uh, about stacking in the philosophy. There's, a, there's stacking called in, uh, in oh, NLP. Oh, there's the philosophy of stacking, yeah. 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 So um, yeah, I'm sure it's actually related to that. <laughs> so let's say in the, in the ad, it would be like, have you ever, like the first headline would be, have you ever heard about stacking your emotions? Question mark. People are like, hmm, what's that? We want to welcome you to the world of iStack Training. Get your hat to join the movement. This hat is made out of 75% content Ten, uh, let's say 5% content, 10% uh, 10 polyester, and 85% epicness. And 100% value. And 100% <laughs> value, and stuff <laughs> like that. With a video that really showcases the, 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 the actual hat. So there's no essential, like you can never answer the question of how to make a brand or a creative site in like one answer. Yeah. That's the thing, it doesn't have an answer. The answer, like, it's very spiritual to say it, but the answer comes from within in a way. Like I'll treat a million different brands in a million different, different ways, but the essence stays the same. Create a story, understand the value and push the value and that's the product. Push the story, push the, push the, the story and the team and like whatever the essence is and not the actual hat. Like for example, one of my agencies that uh, uh, MFM that I showed you, it really, really focuses on the team and that's about what you're gonna, we're gonna do for your business. You know, as you saw, like the website is very, very simple, but the team is so insane and we, the, the way that the team pages visualize is that every person has a full on full screen intro and bio with yep. images, you know? So people see that, and at the end of the day, you wanna hire a marketing agency, not because they have a cool website and because they, ha they say that we're gonna do this for you, this for you, this for you. Because what, what is an agency or what is any company that does service? It's about the team. Yep. So that's why we're pushing that. And your experience as you know, badass internet marketers, because there's a lot of agencies out there right. that haven't come natively to digital exactly. and then aren't gonna have this, this sort of cutting edge mm -hmm. skill. So I see right. that being... So start, start actually, people need to start looking at that. And I'll give another tip, by the way, of how to structure your mind to actually think on these levels. Because it's something that you can't really learn from a course just like that. You can learn some tips and tricks to do stuff like this, like different copy techniques or video techniques. But the best way that we actually focused on is we're very involved in the world and trends and stuff like that. Like we're very involved. Like as, as unproductive as it is, we watch new movies. You yeah. know, if it's the Avengers, if it's like trends that come on, if it's a cryptocurrency that we saw, we're very involved in what's going on with YouTube, with the world, with the economy, with if it's pol um, politics or or whatever, we're involved in it because this teaches us how the world is responding to different things and then we leverage that. So like with cryptocurrency, um, we leveraged that and did like a full on campaign around cryptocurrency with Donald Trump. We actually created a campaign around the Donald Trump controversy, funny shirts and stuff like that. And the reason it was so successful is because it was on a trend. If we would have created the Donald Trump campaign now, it would probably not work as good because we played on the trend. It's about understanding what people want and, and really finding the timing correctly. And sort of it's a way of like you're in their mind. If you're showing things that are trending right now and leveraging them in ads essentially, right. you're, it's sort of like a, it's an inception, right? Because it's like, that's on my mind already. Here's mm -hmm. a new take on that. Here's a right. brand that's associated with that. Exactly. I see that being a, a really yeah. cool creative tip. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Very, very That's like cool. another route to take. It's not essentially related to the brand aspect, yeah. but people can just like leverage trends, you know? So you gotta take this whole creative funnel into mind and then you gotta learn the nitty gritty like tactics of exactly. testing and scaling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, 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 that's, and that's a really good way to do it. So do you think, can you build a business alone on uh, 
you know, on Facebook ads. Do you think it's a wise idea to, fo to, to build a full business on Facebook ads? Mm -hmm. And like, it's funny, we did a survey recently and I think, I think probably it was 75% of the people uh, of our e-commerce survey said 80% of their advertising budget or more was, was on Facebook ads.